Bruce Beach was a small beach resort community in the city of Manhattan Beach, California, and was once owned by and operated for African Americans with no opportunities to vacation at white resorts due to segregation. Bruce Beach was one of the few beaches in Southern California in the 1920s that was not off limits to African Americans. When first incorporated in 1912, George Peck, one of the founders of Manhattan Beach, rejected the practice of racial exclusion and had a clause written into the city's deed stipulating that two city blocks of beachfront area would be set aside for African Americans to purchase. This allowed Charles and Willa Bruce, entrepreneurs and new settlers in the community, to purchase the property for $1,225 in 1912. As their popularity increased, white opposition in the white community had resentments toward the black beach resort goers and by the early 1920s the Ku Klux Klan had gathered a local following who declared the African-American Bruce Beach would no longer be welcome in the town. The city of Manhattan Beach condemned Bruce Beach and some residents pressured black property owners to sell their land at prices below fair market value. Other properties were seized through eminent domain before I moved to California, I used to come to Bruce Beach. And I didn't know what the name was, I just knew it was a part of Manhattan Beach, but on Acquirer's side. And I always came here because I was just drawn to the land, I was drawn to this. I, I felt like something very special was about this place. I could feel the spirit of, of being right here. And many of my friends that I met when I first moved here, um, we used to come here and, and um, you know, have a little outing together, play some volleyball, and sit at the beach, have a great beach day, a girls' day together. And so one day I was in a steam room with um, a brother, and we were talking about, you know, gentrification and systemic racism and how that affects our housing, our standards of living, how our great great grandparents our grandparents weren't able to pass things down for us so that we could have you know an easier time that we can have a better you know um, we could have a better way and carry on our family businesses and traditions and so he had mentioned this place and I was just like wait what Manhattan Beach 26 and I'm like wait a minute I always go there Yes, this long stretch of land, all the way behind me, is now a lifeguard tower and a park. And this beautiful beach that I loved coming to. Um, something about it just feels good, you know? Storm drying is right here though, so you have to be careful on certain um, times of the year when the storm drain is open and it could probably be like garbage, um, waste that goes to the ocean. So it's only usually in the winter or significant rainfall though, but one of my favorite beaches to come to, to just honor these people, honor their land, that I hear them, I hear their stories. You know, we feel deeply about stuff like this. You know, we're truly, the souls of black folks, we're truly connected to the land. We're truly connected to, you know, um, things that happen to our, you know, our people and stuff. So that's why it's good for us to get to the beach, breathe in some good air, breathe in some, you know, good energy and feel this land, you know? This is what we fight for, so that this won't happen again to any of our relatives, our children, ourselves. This is why we fight. <laughs>